I'm um, Boris Ochotokeche, I'm a hydrologist. I did my PhD at Imperial College London and currently I'm the CEO of Atu Consultoria Strategic. I think, I think Cuenca has uh, this privileged location because we are surrounded by mountains. We have relatively a lot of water, but we have uh, also a lot of challenges. For example, climate change in mountains is expected to be worse than in lowlands. That is something that we need to take into consideration when we manage resources. But we have a good water utility, we have good institutions, and we as citizens are very proud about the water that we have in our rivers, that we have in the Paramo ecosystems, and the water that we can just get open in the tapping. And putting all those eyes, the world's eyes in Cuenca, I think opens also a lot of possibilities in order to improve, because we can never be doing the best. We always need to, to improve and do something. But I think we also need to realize that water is not only about water quantity and water quality. It's not only about just the glass of water that you can drink. For example, having water to wash your hands during the pandemic of COVID is an example of public health combined with a water resource. Or also wars and conflicts related to water or looking uh, to water in the context of economic development and social development and many of these different aspects in which water has an impact on. I think this is something that we need to explore and that we need to learn from this multicultural and multidisciplinary audience. I, I think this is, this is very key because sometimes we are inside our own bubbles, especially when you are in academia and you think that research in the lab is everything that you can do. I think this opens the possibility, for example, to look beyond what you can do with just getting your degree. Uh, when you are a student and you are uh, talking about the same topics all the time, when you are focused on getting your degree, it's difficult to really look at all the other issues, all the other problems that you can also help solve. It. And having the opportunity to be with people from different backgrounds, different cultures, different countries, different languages even, opens this possibility of interacting and learning from all these different experiences. Especially because we need to break, we need to go out of the comfort zone, as we say, or out of, the, out of the bubble, especially out of the academic bubble, into the policy sector, into the, the society itself. We need to make those interactions more uh, often and more reliable and more robust in order to solve these problems as well. So I hope that the students from the university will learn that it's not only the only path that you can have is doing a master's, a PhD and working in the lab but that you can also work in industry, work in politics if you want, that you can go to the World Bank if you're a hydrologist, that you can work in, in many other institutions that, they, that are not only education-based.